Jin, you found me. You handle that well. I should have heard him coming. Let myself get distracted. These people saw Mongols marching prisoners upriver. They had a blacksmith with them. Your brother? Sounds like it. They were taking him to a camp near the Canada Inlet. I know the place. Did you find any samurai to free your uncle? I found two warriors. Sensei Ishikawa and Lady Masako Adachi. You've been busy. Faster, Nuru! Taka can help you. After we save him. Hard to believe I might see him soon. He's lucky to have you. He might disagree. That's what siblings are for. What about you? Any brothers or sisters? Lord Shimura is my only family. What will you do when he's free? Take a breath. Because then I'll know there's hope for our island. You feel that strongly? I've watched him win victory against impossible odds. And after your brother is free, what then? Honestly, I haven't had time to think about it. You're riding well. How are your wounds? Mostly healed. Your bandages did the trick. You don't share much about how you feel, do you? <laughs> I suppose you're right. My uncle taught me that a samurai masters his emotions, like you master a horse, or a blade. That's a hard way to live. It's not supposed to be easy. There's a spot up ahead that overlooks the river. Should give us a good view of the Mongol camp. There's the camp. Tough to get inside. The Mongols threw that place together in days. There has to be a way in. Let's look. We need to reach Taka, without putting him in danger. We'll find a safe approach. Defenses in back are formidable. You could scare the rocks on that side. If they're loose, they might give way. Alert the guards. The front wall there is still under construction. Could be a way in. We can look for a gap in the front wall. Slip inside. And cut down the Mongols where they stand. If something goes wrong, they'll kill the prisoners. I've seen them do it. 
We have to go in quietly. Like thieves. What's wrong with that? Before the samurai, this island was ruled by criminals. We changed that by creating order and delivering justice in the open. We live by a code of honor. And sometimes we die by it. Warriors like my father, who just wanted to give us a safer home. I want the same thing. But we have to fight back. I promised my uncle I'd never break our code. Then bend it. To save my family. And what's left of yours. Let's get a closer look. See what we're up against. We should wait until it gets darker. Let's move. Taka, he's been through a lot, even before the invasion. But you took care of him. Someone had to. He hated when I stole. But it was that or starve. I didn't have a choice. I didn't choose to be a samurai either. But going against my instincts, my code. It's better than getting wiped out by the Mongols. We have to fight back any way we can. Through here. If they see us, they'll kill the prisoners. Then we better stay quiet. Think, Jin. The bear is running with a limp. Your arrow wounded him. This is when a beast is most dangerous. Remain alert. Yes, Uncle. Keep after him. <laughs> I didn't think bears lived here. They don't. But the fighting in Yarikawa drove some this way. So it's the rebels' fault. We should feed them to this bear as punishment. We are not barbarians, Jin. bear stumbled here. Is it dying? No, but we are getting closer. Stay ready, Jin. Yes, Uncle. If it's still alive, can I take the shot? Prove you can control your emotions. Then, perhaps.
We got him. Careful. He could still be alive. This arrow should not have killed him. Look, Uncle. There's a gash in his side. Not from an arrow. An assassin! From Yarikawa! Traitor! You would stab the Chido in the back! Rosakai! Control yourself. We are not criminals like this man here. We are samurai. He tried to kill you! He must answer for this crime with his life. And look him in the eye. And teach him that samurai never acts out of anger or fear. And take his life with honor. When we fight, we face our enemy head on. And when we take their life, we look them in the eye with courage and respect. This is what makes us samurai. Only cowards strike from the shadows. Jin, what's wrong? Let's find your brother. We can't let them see us. Use all your senses. Think and move like a thief.
There, a prisoner. Taka? Let's find out. No, it's not Taka. How'd you get in here? We need to go. We'll talk when it's safe. Come on. Let's get to the river. We'll be safe there. Are you with the Straw Hat Ronin? Mm. I was. Cut ties with them after they started running low on rations. Lord Shimura's been captured, and I could use some extra swords to free him. Are you looking for work? No, but the other Straw Hats may be. Last I heard, they were hunting Mongols in Tsitsu Prefecture, by the coast near the Kishi Grasslands. This way. We're looking for my brother, a blacksmith named Taka. Don't know him, but a lot of prisoners move through here. You said they were moving the slaves. Where? They mentioned Asimo Bay. And there was a blacksmith in the last group. Young man with a beard. From Yarikawa, maybe. You'd better be right. I hope you find your blacksmith. Taka's alive in Asmo Bay. The town is surrounded by walls. Rushing in without a plan will only put him in more danger. I have a friend who might be able to get us inside. Find him. The sooner we rescue Taka, the sooner we save my uncle. Jin. Taka will forge whatever tool you need as soon as he's free. But after that, we're leaving the island. You've seen what the Mongols are doing here. Lord Shimura can stop them. Stay. Help us fight for a home. Home is wherever Taka and I go. My friend lives in Asmo Prefecture. On the border with Tsutsu. I'll find you there. I know this wasn't easy. Going against your code. I did what I had to. Thank you. Lord Shimura. You deserve better than this. Convince your people to stop resisting, and you can walk free. Stop wasting my time. Kill me. Mm, you think you've lost everything. But your nephew is still alive. <laughs> my men control the roads. They build war camps near your towns. They see everything. And they will find him. Lord Sakai will fight until his last breath. As will I. You love him. Just as you love your people. You're a father to them. Will you abandon your children? I won't make them your slaves.
sword into the mind. <laughs> Lord Sakai, come quickly. Quickly, Lord. Let's go, Nobu. Some say they know every secret on this island. I wonder what... Oh, <laughs> 
Susano, protect me. Dead bodies. Who killed these people? A fearsome warrior. He demanded I tell him the tale of Shigenori's heavenly strike. When he didn't hear the answers he sought, he flew into a rage and butchered them. What did he want to know? I am not sure, my lord. Tell me the story. I need to know what he's after. When Tsushima was first settled, a strange and terrible thunderstorm swept across our island. Wherever lightning struck, beasts of lightning appeared. These violent creatures tore through villages, causing death and destruction, moving too quickly to be stopped. The people knew only one man who could possibly stand against the lightning beasts, Shigenori. The fastest swordsman in all of Tsushima, Shigenori, never lost a duel. With years of practice, he had created the Heavenly Strike, an attack that struck quicker than the eye could follow. Shigenori lured the creatures to a desolate beach in Komatsu, where the sand would slow their movement. Their clash turned the sand to ash, and bleached the leaves of trees white. Shigenori's heavenly strike cut through them faster than they could move. As the final beast fell, the storm cleared, and Tsushima was safe again. Shigenori began a life of seclusion. Few students found him, and only the bravest and most skilled proved worthy of learning the heavenly strike. When a storm approaches, a sword is placed at Shigenori's rest by a student who knows of its location to ward off attacks from beasts of nature. 
The murderer wishes to learn Shigenori's heavenly strike. It sounds dangerous in the wrong hands. Which way did he go? A woman fled toward a nearby bridge. He chased her. He'll answer for what he did here. That's the bridge the musician mentioned. Someone weeping. Where? My lord, so many is slaughtered. Did you see the man who killed them? I know who he is. Yasuhira Koga. I've heard the name. He fought for the Yarikoa clan. Would you recognize him? I'll never forget that leering face. Follow me. Perhaps I can pick up his trail on the other side of the bridge. Horse tracks. Yasuhira was in a hurry. What more do you know of Yasuhira Koga? Only that he was a retainer for the Yarikawa clan years ago. After the rebellion was crushed, the clan was dissolved and retainers dismissed. Rumor says he left Tsushima, but when the Mongols attacked, he returned. From where, I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. He cannot be allowed to live after what he's done. Up ahead, they're constructing a roadblock. Mongols, hide yourself. Looking for me? Oh, 
We're pursuing a man named Yasuhira Koga. He just left. He's been staying in the watchtower. Working with the Mongols? Yes. But last night they argued. Only made out one word. Chigenori. I'll search the watchtower. Find somewhere safe before more Mongols come. What has Yasuhira been doing? White leaves, like those bleached by lightning in the tail. The Mongols have their own version of Shigenori's tail. Maybe he wanted to compare it to the musician's version. A dueling ring. He's looking for it. Yasuhira is looking for someone who can teach him Shigenori's heavenly strike. The white leaves. There are trees like that not far from here. That's where he went. You've helped enough. Get to safety with the others. Thank you, my lord. I hope you punish that monster. Need to find white leafed trees. Careful, my lord. This path is dangerous. Dangerous for a samurai, but not a priestess. What are you doing here? My duty, tending the shrines. When the war ends, people will need these Torii gates to mark their path, so they can find the Shinto shrines and pray for the Kami's protection. We could use their protection now. Yes, but the paths are too treacherous. 
I tried to visit the nearby shrine. Almost fell to my death. Maybe I can reach it. As a boy, I climbed every tree and cliff around my village. If you get there in one piece, pray for our island. And take an Omamori charm for yourself. Wear it close, and the charm will change your fate. And perhaps the fate of our home. Thank you. Follow the Torii gates. They will lead you to shrines all across our island, and the Omamori charms that rest there. Yasuhira must have gathered leaves from here. Someone's being tortured. Challenge me! You may he get samurai!
Was a man named Yasuhira with these Mongols. Mm. He wanted to learn the heavenly strike from my grandfather and took him away. Your grandfather's in danger. Where did they go? His old training ground. A dueling ring on the Komatsu coast. Please, <laughs> save him. Yasuhira cannot learn the heavenly strike. So he brought Mongols with him. Then make him bad. Yes! <laughs> 
That must be Shinori's dueling ring. What has Yasuhiro been doing? Poor man. Killed by Yasuhiro. Blade has seen many duels. Footprints. Still fresh. Yasuhiro Kuga. The Butcher of the Rebellion. Time hasn't changed you. You were a child when Yorikawa burned, boy. For 15 years, I dreamed of cutting Lord Shimura to the bone. You won't live long enough to face him. The old man taught me the legendary attack before I killed him. Let me show you. Waiting for boy. Not waiting. Studying. Learning. Save you. You deserve greater respect than this. I promise I'll use Shigenori's technique to protect Tsushima against all who would harm it. black powder into a clay pot. I can set it aflame and throw it as a weapon. 